in these passages, in these verses that Jesus speaks on in chapter 10, and we look at verses basically 1 through 18, Jesus gives us five shams. You're like, what do you mean by that? Well, in verse 1, Jesus says, anybody who enters into the fold but comes, it doesn't come in by the door, sneaks in the back, back way, is a thief and a robber. All right, I'm going to talk to you because these, the thief and the robber, they're shams, shams. And, and I'm going to, you're like, why do we have to know about these shams? Because Jesus gives us five shams. He talks about the thief, the robber. He talks about the stranger. He talks about the hireling. And he talks about the wolf. These are the five shams in these verses. And I'm bringing them to your attention because there's going to be some really helpful application for you to think about, to consider. First off, the thief in the Greek is, we get our word kleptomaniac. Klepto, right? Everybody knows what a kleptomaniac is. There's, they, they steal. And they can't help it, but they just steal. Remember this as well. Then this passage, it says in the English, robber. But in the Greek, it's the word lesteo, L-E-S-T-E-O. And this is different. In, in actuality, I think you should translate it to mean a bandit. Because this lesteo are the dudes that beat up the guy on the road to Jericho in the parable of the Good Samaritan. Remember that story? He's on the road to Jericho, and the lesteo jump on him, beat him to a bloody pulp, steal everything he's got, and leave him on the side of the road to die. Remember that? That's lesteo. That's a drastically different word than just stealing. You understand what I'm saying? They're violent, and, and they come in to not only steal and take away, but to hurt. And they're very, very hurtful, very abusive. So the thief, and I'll say the bandit. Then Jesus continues, and he says, uh, my sheep know my voice, and the voice of a stranger. So the third sham is the stranger's voice. Now, if you had to qualify the thief and the robber, are they helpful or hurtful? Hurtful, that's a rhetorical question. A stranger can be a neutral voice. It's just a stranger's voice. I don't recognize their voice. But Jesus talks about the hireling. And the hireling is like a placeholder. The hireling isn't really a shepherd and he doesn't own the sheep. But when the hireling sees the wolf coming, that's the fifth sham, the hireling runs away. He's afraid of the wolf. So the hireling and the stranger, they're kind of neutral, but the hireling isn't going to ha hang in there to like do anything and, and personally have any kind of skin in the game. Does it make sense to you? They're out. I'm out. Peace out. And then the wolf, would you consider the wolf to be hurtful <laughs> or helpful? I would say the wolf is hurtful. It says he strikes the sheep and scatters them. So there are five shams. The thief, the bandit, the hireling, the stranger, and the wolf. Of those five... Three of the five are hurtful, right? Two of them are relatively neutral. And you're like, why are we going through these things? Because none of us in the room, none of us online, I don't think we ever want to acknowledge or, or, or have any possibility that the thief, the robber, comes to kill, steal, destroy, John 10.10. 10. Jesus says, I've come to give you life, life more abundantly. I would venture to say that all of us want to have Jesus as our shepherd, Right? You're like, duh, that's why we're here. Come on, Sarah. <laughs> that's accurate. But I don't think we always appreciate that, there, that the enemy masquerades and comes and, and whispers and speaks into your ear. And if there's any areas in your life that have deficiency, where there's lack then it's possible that the enemy has been whispering and talking to you and you might not even realize you're listening to that voice. 